Throughout the years, nations have fought in wars from all across the globe. Millions of people losing their life in battle, and yet so little conflicts ever get fully resolved. So now let's look at one of the most gruesome wars in history, World War II. The war started in Europe when Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany invaded Poland. Before Poland, Hitler had gone after other countries as well. After each conquest, he said he would be satisfied after each country, but of course, he never stopped. This is called appeasement. Britain and France had enough and threatened Hitler saying if he invaded Poland, they would declare war on Germany. Hitler ignored their threats and invaded Poland anyways. Days later, Britain and France officially went to war with Germany. This brings us to our first question. Were the causes of this war righteous enough to be considered good? Britain and France had promised Poland their independence if Germany were to invade. So when Hitler attacked, they had all the right intentions to declare war and come to Poland's aid. But of course, this is not the one and only cause of this monstrous war. There were many others such as dictative powers other than Hitler, the Treaty of Versailles, and Japanese expansion. While it's nice to know the Allies fought to end such dictators, when we look at the flip side of the war, it seems less and less justified. For example, the Treaty of Versailles was directed at Germany for punishment after World War I, but knowing that this reason could have been avoided is a bit unsettling. This begs the question of, what about the citizens of the fighting countries? The citizens' daily lives were obviously disrupted by the war in many different ways, such as the Battle of Britain, in which Britain was bombed by Germany to weaken their defenses. This took Britain by surprise, and during this time many buildings, homes, and other sites were completely destroyed. Children had to not only grow up in this environment, but also had to hide out in trenches to avoid these bombs. Not to mention the hardships the Soviet Union faced in the Siege of Leningrad. This was a dark time in this war because of how many civilians were lost, and how many cases of cannibalism there were. The citizens starved so badly that they only resorted to cannibalism after being forced to eat wallpaper, boiled leather soup, cats, and dogs. In short, World War II was one of the most horrible times to be alive. How did World War II affect countries as a whole? There have been many advancements in weaponry such as the atomic bomb. There was even a new form of secret codes to communicate. Economically, the U.S. was greatly changed in that it ended the Great Depression and gave many of the unemployed jobs. Now that we have examined some of the most depressing times in World War II, we can move on to our last question. Can anything good come from such a terrible time in history? This war brought approximately 70 million deaths, most likely earning the title for the most horrific atrocity to hit Europe. But let's look at what good sprouted from this. The downfall of dictators like Mussolini and Hitler is one of the greatest things the Allies got from the war. The war even allowed America to get back on their feet again economically. But the most important impact from the war has to be the years after known as the Long Peace. The Long Peace is a term used to describe the time frame after World War II in which the largest 44 economies haven't fought each other. So yes, World War II was a good war and brought on an ultimate, long-lasting peace. But at what cost?